guys welcome back to another damachi memorial freeze video okay so <sighs> trying something a little bit different with the microphone now hopefully there's not uh, too much echo this is obviously pre-editing i'm gonna try and fix the audio after but anyway so <laughs> we're now gonna go through the thunder zone i do apologize if you can hear background noise and my neighbor's kids and my neighbors and oh i've been trying to wait for the right time to record today all day and it's just not been happening it's like the sun comes out and and stupid people follow but anyway <laughs> anyway uh we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do thunder zone uh before i go through the team same as last time you're gonna need at least two revolving amulets and four stun anklets unless you have assists that give you 100 percent ailment resist now let's go through the team i'll cover that afterwards uh so as usual harahime here for the sa 100 magic and strength buff plus Buff extension and healing. Orna is here for the guard and counter rate, so Haruhime can heal whenever she possibly can, uh, as well as lowering physical resist and magic resist. <clears throat> Next to her, we have the new Gareth. Gareth is here because Gareth buffs earth damage as well as, well, he does a decent amount of physical uh, earth damage as well. The only thing he lacks right now is MP, which is why on him we have the adventurer Hestia, who increases i think it's crit let me, let me actually check i'm not sure uh increases crit penetration rate and count rate to allies and then increases uh mp re it gives 60 mp per turn which gareth desperately needs because i find i find that he runs out of mp so quickly in these things that it's really not helpful unless i do have him <clears throat> next to him we have my first sack unit which will be the Lene for the 33% SA gauge charge on her we have the Winter Hestia because she is the best unit I have that boosts earth uh, element damage she also increases guard and counter rate for everyone else that doesn't have Orna uh, <laughs> my final unit uh, not my final unit my, the fourth unit is Lyra who I cheekily mlb'd recently on a summon that i shouldn't have done and i got her last two bonds on a single summon yes i know you some of you guys are really going to hate me for that one um but on her i mean lyra does earth magic damage which makes this a bit of a hybrid team but at least they're the same element so i can sort of get away with it plus her sa does decrease uh magic resistance uh and she's probably going to be doing the bulk of the damage for the team on her I have Freya. Freya is basically the only assist I have that will boost magic. Uh, she boosts magic by 20%. Also has 100% SA. No, I did it again. I did the same thing last video. It has 100% ailment resistance. Uh, which means she doesn't need a stun anklet. So I put a thunder cloak on her. So she has an additional 20% resistance to thunder damage. Second sack unit is the light eyes for the 30% um, increase in AoE damage as well as a 30% reduction in guard rate. And finally, we have the Winter Haruhime. Uh, Winter Haruhime is additional healing, additional resistances, and finally, uh, MP recovery. I say finally, but there's one more. She's also here because Winter Haruhime reduces the amount of turns uh, that enemies have buffs and allies have debuffs. And uh, this Thunder Zone, uh, debuffs strength and magic so winter harahime will remove that essentially the turn that it's applied uh, depending on what all the, the skills are done in <clears throat> uh, this essentially means that gareth and lyra lyra however you want to pronounce her name is are going to be putting out more damage this i put this team together just so that i could clear uh very hard not so that i could s clear it but it did end up s clearing it for me anyway and on winter harahime obviously we have finn who needs no introduction because he's amazing anyway let's uh let's stop talking and get into the uh oh let's let's turn that down shall we <laughs> oh no it's on auto again no no all right so we're gonna let this turn play out i always do it uh, I did it last video, but no one noticed um, <laughs> because I cut it out. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's restart, shall we? <laughs> you didn't see that. You didn't see that. I was hoping that you could do it without you guys actually seeing my score. <sighs> uh, I mean, the score is not that impressive anyway, but I did manage to S clear it. And this is the team I S clear it with. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am sorry about that. I do apologize. 
Uh, so skill one, Arcane for the damage reduction. Uh, skill one on Gareth for the earth attack damage increase. The only problem is the 75% chance to nullify physical attack uh, sort of m means that we don't counter, which means less damage, which is kind of sucky, but it's the best I've got. SA gauge, charge, and then uh, magic resist and agility minus two turns. But it's the additional actions that we're after uh, as well here. So let's do this real quick. Ah, the AoEs are really helpful in the beginning because, like, I mean, Haruhime, there's no way in hell I see Haruhime falling off or falling out of the meta anytime soon, especially for, like, um, 7th Zone, definitely not for Record Buster. Uh, then we're going to go straight over to Yusuga to extend these buffs, and then Gareth literally is just going to stay on skill 2. The problem is Gareth's skill 1 costs 187 MP, which is the real issue here. <laughs> Um, skill 1 on eyes to increase the AoE damage and then the main problem with Lyra here is that she doesn't have a super modifier on her AoE but she's like the only MLB earth unit that I have so I had to bring up but the self magic buff and the earth resistance debuff is very handy like if we come over here like it's going to take it down to 90% would be helpful if I had a <laughs> physical resist debuff as well, so Gareth can do a bit more damage. But we work with what we got. Uh, and that should be that for that turn. Yep. I mean, I'm glad we're losing counters. We're doing the nullifications now. Uh, because later on, not countering. Oh, good lord. Okay, so we're not going to S clear this run. That can happen. RNG is a thing. Um... I could have brought Elmina uh, for the 30% AoE buff, but I kind of greeted and wanted the guard buff as well. I'm not too bothered by that. This is just to demonstrate that this team works and can clear very hard. Okay, so where are we? We we want the... Hmm. Hmm. We want this. We want the resistance buff. That's what we want. So I was thinking about that for a second a little bit too hard, wasn't I? And then next time we're going to get the Haruhime essay, which is what we're going to go for. Ah, those additional attacks. That's another thing. You have to keep an eye on Lyra's additional attacks because you do want to reapply them uh, because every little will every little helps, basically. All right, so now you can see that the debuffs are in play. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to skill 3. Uh, as you can see right there, it lower stats buffs and stats debuffs on allies by two turns so if we just have a look at Lyra real quick the debuffs last three turns now that includes this current turn so when this turn ends like the lowering the debuff by two turns will take that down to one which means when this turn ends the debuffs will disappear which is what we want and then we just have to get into the rhythm of removing debuffs uh, when we need to and then healing MP etc when we require that as well um i did want to check how many additional attacks we had remaining uh none so on this turn we're going to get the two additionals back and then next turn we're going to skill two again <clears throat> it's better to get the additionals now um before the debuffs removed so that uh the following turns we can get the additional damage without the strength and magic debuff so it's like doing less now so we can do more later there we go I right. blocked the uh, <laughs> physical attack there uh, would have liked the counter oh dear lord okay right so we're gonna move uh, we're gonna have the Yasuga there because we want to extend those buffs nothing changes for anyone else really did they debuff us? No, they did not, which means now we're going to do this one and we're going to heal people's MP. Not that they need it. Um, in fact, no one needs this at all. So we can literally just do this in case they debuff this turn and keep everything going the way it should do. Uh, check the additionals, make sure we've still got them. Mm -hmm. Two turns left. Perfect, perfect, perfect.
There we go. Those additionals are really going to come in handy. I have no idea what turn we're going to finish this. I uh, <laughs> I don't even remember how many turns it finished it when I S cleared it. So obviously it was at least turn 15 that I cleared it. So we're just going to keep doing this because no one's MP is really in trouble right now. Uh, keep things the same. And we're going to SA next turn. It, actually, it's a good thing that we stuck to Winner Haruhime skill 3 here because they're going to debuff now. And we want to make sure that the debuff isn't applied when we're going to SA. And next turn we need we do need to start uh, using Winner Haruhime skill 2 though. Did I use the wrong skill? I think I used the wrong skill. Oh no, she went before them. That's why the debuffs weren't removed. So we're going to Sheik it here. All right. We're not going to SA just yet. Because I'd prefer to have the debuffs gone before I SA. Um, so yeah, we're going to remove these debuffs first. Uh, it, I mean, it's it's definitely handy having two healers on the team. And Winter Hara, he may come in and like... It's going to be clutch considering she heals uh, MP as well. So it's always always helpful. Okay, so um, what I can do is I can wait another turn for a double SA, but I don't usually do that. I don't think the double SAs are really worth it, and I don't think Gareth's really going to do that much uh, damage anyway. So we're literally just going to SA with Lyra here, who reduces magic resist by twenty percent. So we're going to need to <laughs> we're, we're going to need to extend that buff, um, and we're going to heal some MP on everyone, shall we? Well, I mean, it's Winter Harahime that I'm mainly worried about. And uh, Lyra's SA. The audio for this game always confuses me. It's like, it's like it feels off, like marginally off. <clears throat> and it really does seem like one of these things health is a lot lower than the other. Okay, so we've got another SA, but we're going to hold on to it because, like I said, we want to remove the debuff before the SA comes in at all. Uh, Gareth is not an issue. Yeah. I mean, he's gaining more MP than he's spending every turn, so we're cool with it. Uh, what we're going to do while we've got the debuff on, we're going to check. Okay, we've run out of um, extra um, additionals, so we're going to go back to that. Everything else stays the same. Gain two additionals. I mean, not that it makes. I mean, it doesn't really make a big difference uh, for next turn because you don't do additional actions on turns that you use your SAs because the SAs don't count as um, actions. So, just make sure that we not debuffed. Uh, sometimes all the icons on the screen do get a little bit confusing, uh, and we definitely, definitely are not debuffed. So we're gonna gonna heal some MP here for everyone well and our he mate and hope for the best this is basically how we're gonna have to do it it's about uh, just rotating skills healing MP SAing AOEing and getting the additionals off and just chipping away at them eventually it will work like I, I, I've already um, 600k man I, I'm I I'm not going to scoff at 600k, especially considering Earth is basically one of my weakest units, like one of my elements, sorry, one of my weakest elements in the game. Uh, and I can SA immediately again, ugh, immediately again, sorry, uh, without any debuffs. Uh, we are going to move back to uh, thing just in case, because I'm pretty sure they're going to debuff me again here. I just want to check how much health this one has. Uh huh, 1.4 million. Okay, okay. It's not looking too shabby. <clears throat> I think, I, yeah, I was saying, I've already um, shown someone else how to put this team together so they can clear 7th zone before I posted the video. And they had much lower levels than, uh, I mean, uh, my Gareth is only level 68. So <laughs> that's saying a lot, to be fair. But obviously, the, the vast majority of my damage is coming from Lyra. Um, but even without an MLB Earth unit, they still... Uh, cleared it. I won't say they S cleared it, but they still cleared it. So this still is a reliable way to clear uh, thing. And I'm pretty sure it's not just going to be um, Earth Zone that you can do this strategy with. It's probably going to work on many other zones as well. 
as long as they keep debuffing strength and magic. <clears throat> okay, that's going to be gone next turn. Uh, yeah. I mean, with the additionals are really adding up, like doing nearly 300k damage per turn because of the additionals with Lyra. So the damage debuffs are not really that big of a deal. Uh, we, we look like we're coming to an end. I think we may end it next turn. No, we've finished it this turn. Okay, so turn 13. Nice and clean. I hope this helped you. I'm going to have to start recording in a different room because I've just realized the echo. And I hope, <laughs> I hope that I can clean that up in editing of the audio. Anyway, let's see what score we got. I know it's not going to be as good as my original because originally I didn't lose eyes. No, that's not true. I actually scored higher this time. Uh, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's, I think it's because I understood what turns to um, remove debuffs. Like I only I did this once with this team and then just left it at that. But yeah, so I hope that helps you guys uh, out. I know Thunder Zone really sucks because Earth units are a bit of an issue for most people. Uh, but I do hope this helps. Uh, make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're not. I would really appreciate any uh sharing or commenting or anything i always reply when i can uh but yeah anyway guys as always i'll catch you later